Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Shock watch unboxing or review video. Today we're gonna have a look at the new digital step tracker G-Shock watch, reference number GBD-800-8JF in this case. And by the way, before I proceed to the watch, here are all the things that you are gonna get when you buy this G-Shock watch from Japan. Black box, Japanese manual book, resin, uh, this leather, synthetic leather layered uh, hard case a watch, this pillow, and of course this price tag as well, which consists of a lot of information that you couldn't find if you buy a G-Shock watch outside of Japan. All of these papers and box is really important in order to determine if your G-Shock watch is genuine or not. Keep in mind there are a lot of packaging types that will be originated from Japan. This is the most common one. And also talking about the papers, here is the price tag, which gonna shows the retail price of thirteen thousand five hundred Japanese yen plus tax. At eight percent, it will goes about fourteen thousand Japanese yen. And I will be giving away this G-Shock watch for free to one lucky winner, random winner. If you bought my merchandise from my website, just bought any merchandise, and you will automatically stand a chance to win this G-Shock watch for free. So now let's have a look at the design. Function, features, construction, material, and of course, wrist check at the end of the video. I will add a timestamp in the description box below just in case you want to skip to any part of that sections, whichever interests you most. Starting up with functions, just straight away at home time, we're gonna have a look at day of the week, time display in the middle, and date display at the bottom part. Year, month, and day, and this ring in here is graphics animations like most G Shark watch to match with the second contour down here. And there's two bars in there, circle or half circle. That is an indicator if the accelerometer is turned on or not. If that part aren't lighting on, basically just empty it out, the accelerometer is turned off, aka power saving mode is turned on. If these two bars is blinking left and right, that would mean that the watch is currently measuring your steps. And to enter the step tracking mode, press this front metal button. There you have it. And in here, you will have access to five informations. One being the graph to show progress every single hour of how many steps you already taken each hour. So that's pretty motivational in my opinion. It push you to move forward and to make sure the graph always increasing. Second information is that timekeeping. Third information is step counter. In my case, 3,871 steps already. The fourth information is based on those graphics bar in there, which will show you how many percentage you already covered in order to reach your target step of the day. In my case, I set this G-Shock watch to a target step of 8,000 steps per day. So, in my case, since I already walked for 3,871 steps, I am almost halfway there. The fifth information that you will learn in here is again this two bars as well. Either the step counter is currently turned on or off. So if you begin walking, the watch will automatically detect that and turn on the accelerometer. You cannot manually turn it on or off. It will only works automatically. That's number one. Number two, it will only start registering steps into this counter after 10 seconds you walk or after 10 seconds of movement detection. For example, if you walk for just about five seconds and you stop, the watch will still measure the step, but it won't register it in here. That is to avoid miscalculation and misregistration of step. Simple concept, but pretty cool in my opinion for this simple looking watch. But there's a downside. Because of how precise or how sensitive the accelerometer is, it will accidentally measure steps just from vibrations alone. For example, if you're riding a motorcycle, where you usually will uh, receive a lot of vibrations, that is bad for this step counter because it will automatically register all those in form of steps. I experienced this myself as well while driving just to the grocery stores. I start up at 19 steps and when I reach to my destinations, it shows that I already walked like 120 steps, which is weird. I just drive in a car, didn't go anywhere. So those are the things that you need to consider before getting out the watch. But Casa do mention this thing as well in their manual book about that this G-Shock watch has a plus and minus 3% to the overall steps taken throughout the day. So do consider that as well. And if you want to know the calorie burn, 3D mapping, you could pair this watch to your phone and it will register all this information and 
goes from there, which I will run through after this as well. For now, let's move back to home time keeping or proceed to the next function that this G Sharp watch have, and that is the stopwatch or chronograph. In this mode, you will have two parts to display the stopwatch feature where you could swap between either split time display or lap time. In this case, lap time will be on top, split time will be down at the bottom, or I could do it otherwise as well. In here, you could also set a target time in this G-Shock watch. There you have it. And notice that while using the stopwatch mode, you could swap this display down here to time display or to chronograph display instead. Look at that. Now, just in case you want to use this time display, turn on the time display using the adjust button and press this lower right button to start the chronograph. And there you have it. And you could split time using the middle button at the front. There it is. Split off. And you could register in all the way to 200 sets of split time as being indicated on the top of here. There it is. Stop and reset to zero. The watch will automatically save all of this information in the next mode called the recall or record mode. There it is. All the information that just been recorded just now. The date, the time, and of course the uh, chronograph of the split time and the lapse time and all those. So this is pretty nice as well without even needing to use the phone yet. Keep in mind, I'm just using this the watch on its own. It works independently. Press the mode button again, we'll enter to the next mode called the countdown timer, which you could store in an interval timer. Let me quickly demonstrate how it works. So this is the first set I could register in like four, five, 20 sets of countdown timer. And in each set, I could register in five interval time. So that is really, detail really cool 20 sets of different exercise five sets of interval between each exercise so that's very really interesting if you're really serious going to be using this watch for force activities and all those and of course in this countdown timer mode you will also have this mode called the count in as well start this and it will have a range all the way to 60 minutes only Stop and reset to zero. Press this mode button again to go to the next function called the dual time. Not world time, but if you pair this watch to your phone, it will work as world time to 300 city range. Basically, when it paired to your phone, the watch pretty much unlimited because it could take advantage of your phone and do what your phone could. Press this mode button again to go to the next function called the alarm. This watch has five alarm with signal but no snooze function. You cannot set the alarm to any specific date at all. Press the mode button again to go back to home timekeeping and that sums up all the basic features of this G-Shock watch. I will film the details on a separate module demonstration video. If I cover everything in this video, it will turn out to be 40 minutes long. So we don't want that. Now let's move on to the construction and also the material of the watch. It consists of polyurethane watch band and bezel. It feels like silicone, so it is Indeed, really, really comfortable, but I hold on into a lot of silicone watch band from other watch brand. This one is much better, but then again, this is not silicone. If you look at the code down at the bottom of this watch band, it says PUR, so polyurethane, and you're going to be able to see that they have a lot of texture. And all these buckle holes is made to be white for insulations and, of course, for better grip with this with the aluminum combined with plastic buckle so two things now instead of full metal not as strong as full metal but when you wear this you could feel the quality and this is also important to reduce the weight to make the watch much more comfortable much more easier to wear as well since you're not gonna be beating the hell out of this most likely gonna do some sports activity only so resin buckles good enough but it does have this aluminum horn to make sure it is strong enough one more interesting feature of a G-Squad G-Shock watch that usual model didn't have is this band keeper. It is totally unique. Just look at it. It has two slits over here which combine together on top with a locking mechanism in there to hook into one of these holes to make sure that the watch strap didn't slip out while you are wearing the watch so you could focus just on your activity. So that is as far as the watch band and moving down here you're going to be able to see there's this green part. To hold on to your wrist even better and this is important for fit and also just for comfort as well in this case came in green and you're gonna be able to see there's slits in there where the uh, spring bar is located so the watchman was locked with spring bar only and the back plate consists of four screw lock in each corner and it is stainless steel material with hairline finish 
vertically, which is really incredible, and a lot of information could be gathered from this backplate alone. So let's have a look. We're gonna have a uh, Casio writings 3464 module number GBD 800 G Shock Bluetooth Digital 800 series reference number stainless steel back made in China ED. Watch for this to 20 bar and FCC code, of course, since this is a Bluetooth equipped model and down there shock resistance and also acceleration sensor built in this G Shock watch. So a lot of details just from the back. If you look just next to the back plate, you could see that the hard case only came in black or uh, plastic material. So that will help with the lightweight as well. The buttons also came in plastic as well, but the screw that is holding the bezel came in stainless steel metal, similar to the one for the button in the middle, which came in checkered texture that is made out of aluminum, in this case, glossy green, gorgeous piece, since this guy came in green and gray color combination, so glossy green, which also matched with the ring around the watch face, which honestly, what makes this watch looks expensive, just because it has this glossy ring around here, with a little bit of texture on the sides, which reminds me of a shape of a stadium when you look on this angle. Casio on top and lap memory of course. Water 20 bar resist, tap tracker, Bluetooth. Overall was made in plastic aside from this green metal on the side. The watch display panel have a little bit of green hue since this is again green and gray color combinations. And that sums up all the material. The feature on this G-Shock watch aside from all this protection that this model have. Just look at the watch on right away. Every single angle in this G-Shock watch is fully protected. So you could beat the hell out of this. You could throw this on the ground. This is almost indestructible. Okay now, done on the functions and the construction and the features. Let me show you guys what else you can do. I'm gonna wear that hole number three from the top and one simple trick pinch the band keeper first and then push the strap inside and release it to lock the watch band into place so that's really nice simple concept but really efficient as well the watch is pretty lightweight and i gotta say it is really comfortable i'm used to wearing a lot of g-shock watch this one just feels different at the same time still have a lot of functions and battery life of two years how often you hear a step tracker gadget that have two years battery life. I believe G-Shock is the only one that do it and with 200 meter water resistant, this is the best step tracker out there if you want a digital model. Now let's move on to the Bluetooth functionality. Turn on your G-Shock connected app and just press this lower right button at home time and hold it and Bluetooth symbol will appear in there and then your phone will prompt you to connect to this watch and there you have it. Gonna take about five, six seconds, I believe. Now in here, you can see that the watch already count 3,871 steps and it will use your phone to measure the calorie being burned and display all that in form of calendar as well. And also show you how many percent you already covered until you could reach your goal. And of course, 3D map as well, since this is indeed you're pairing with your phone and it will use your phone as a GPS uh, tracker. But if you're gonna be using the watch, at the same time, keep track of your route. So you're gonna need to bring your phone as well since this is the GPS device. The watch didn't have a built-in GPS in it like the arrangement does. All right, those are some of the basic features. If you want to know the details, really, if you forgot about anything, just go through this app and they will literally show you what every buttons and every features could do for you so this is very very helpful and last but not least before I end this video if you want to use this watch for jog at night time or in early morning this watch does come equipped with LED light with auto light feature as well which I'll demonstrate right now there it is pretty bright I believe to be brighter than the Rangeman model there it is this is the Rangeman GPS version right much bigger like humongous there it is Comparison side, there you have it. Look at that. This one's glows brighter, but I'm guessing because of the arrangement came in negative and this one in positive. But regardless, you can see or judge it by yourself. It is not as uniform, but it is better than the one on the arrangement. So there it is. Okay, guys, I believe that sums it all up. As I already said, this video is gonna be really long. But 
however thank you very very much for your support thank you very much for watching and again don't forget to buy the merch if you want to win this g-shock watch for free thank you very very much for watching this is g-shock high fashion channel and I'm